My name's Kath Ellis from Kath Ellis Learning Design, and I'm here with another ATD Toolbox tip. I'd like to talk you through my workflow when I'm editing 360 images. In the last couple of years, Articulate Storyline brought out a new feature which allowed us to put 360 images into our courses. But it's left quite a lot of people scratching their heads. How do you go about editing the actual photo? Now, Adobe Photoshop used to have all the features you'd need to edit these photos inbuilt. But in the last update, they've actually removed that whole feature and they've added a whole new 3D functionality. So the program that a lot of people are using now is called Affinity Photo. Now, Affinity Photo is a paid program. It's not too expensive and it's a one-off fee, but it is paid. So you're just going to have to bear that in mind. But you can jump onto it and use a trial and see if it's going to work for you. Let me jump in and show you how I use the program. So this is the interface for Affinity. The first thing that I do is I import my picture. So I'm going to go open and I'm going to bring in my picture. Here we go. So I want to actually do my edits in a 360 environment. So I'm going to go to layer, live projection, and I'm going to select this projection. Okay, so now I can actually view this image in 360. And the first thing that we want to do is get rid of this tripod. So we'll come on over here and we're gonna select this in painting brush tool. And you're just going to simply draw over it and it will work its magic and that will disappear. So I'm just going to go back to layer back into live projection and remove the projection to just take a quick look at it. Now, the next thing that we want to do is let's add something to this photo. So I'm gonna go back to layer, live projection, and let's turn this around. And just to show you how easy this is, I'd like to put a TV on the wall. So I've got a TV here in my files, and I'm just going to drag it onto the screen. It's as easy as that. I'm going to use this move, move tool, and I'm just going to resize it so it doesn't look as big, okay? And since it's a transparent PNG, I'm just going to put a thumbnail behind it. So it looks like the TV's on. So just like when we're building e-learning, we want to make sure that the TV for this layer is in the front, okay? Okay, so now we can see the full TV looks pretty good. However, if I'm a bit critical, that looks a little bit bright in this room. So, the other thing that's great about Affinity Photo is you can start making adjustments not only to your actual 360 image, but also to the actual layers. So let me show you how to do that. So you're going to come down here to Adjustments and you're going to go to HSL. And here we're just going to knock the saturation down a little bit. There you go. I think that looks more realistic. Great. Now, if I was to just go out of this and move, uh, move the scene, that image would be stuck right there. We need to do what's called merging down. So we're going to group these items. Okay, so all I'm doing is highlighting them, right-clicking, and I'm going to go to group. And then I'm going to go to right click again on that layer, that group layer, and go to merge down. And now if we go out of that layer, here we go. You can see it's now attached to the wall. We'll do last one last one. Okay. 
you may have seen this kind of thing where you see words projected on a wall, for example. Let's just write the word kitchen above that door. These are silly little examples, but something to work with. So here we're just going to go to the text tool and you will write a word in. So we're going to write kitchen. And here I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And I'm actually just going to choose a different font. Okay. And I'm just going to put that there. And what we're going to do is we're going to merge that down again. So merge down. And now we're just going to go to layer. We're going to highlight the layer. That's why it wasn't working. Edit live layer. And now you can see that's working fine. So we've edited that item. We've added something to the wall and we've added some text onto the wall. So there you go. That's how you can go about editing 360 images. So I hope you found this tip useful and look forward to creating another ATD toolbox tip for you in the future. All the best.